Hi hi, so today we are tasting two drinks from a brand called Halu. Now Halu are an independent brand run by three friends um, who love going out, they love socialising, um, but they also uh, are really focused on their health and their well-being and weren't really in love with the combination of uh, heavy socialising and what that did to your body. So they decided to go out and create something new. Like all great founders who are trying to find a solution for a problem they themselves have, they've then come up with a wonderful product. So in the range with Halu, there are two different drinks. So this is their first, uh, well, they launched together actually. This is called the Havana Heat. And over here, we have the Salerno Spritz. And we're gonna try both of those today to see what they're like. Now, the USP for Halu is that they are actually um, functional beverages. So you'll hear a lot of talk of functional beverages at the moment. Those are drinks that contain things uh, called adaptogens or nootropics that help your body or your mind to perform better. Um, so beyond just hydration and refreshment, they'll include things um, like vitamins, minerals, herbs, roots, botanicals. So Halu um, use things like um, ashwagandha and lemon balm. Uh, there's several different B vitamins in there. There's added magnesium, added iron. So all of these things are to help provide a function to help your body perform better. Now, their advice is to pour these over ice um, and in all their images, they have a little bit of citrus as a garnish. So I've got some orange and some lime here. So we're going to start with the Salerno Spritz. Um, so this is a, they say it says on the can, a bittersweet non-alcoholic spritz. Um, so obviously, whenever we talk about spritzes, people always think about the most famous spritz, which is the Aperol spritz. Um, this is a Salerno spritz, and it says it's lightly sparkling with a perfect blend of bittersweet Mediterranean flavours and the natural benefits of adaptogens, vitamins and botanicals to help you feel relaxed and sociable. Best served chilled on the rocks with a slice of lime. So let's give this one a go. Now open the can. Not a hugely strong aroma coming out there, but it is quite herbaceous. So let's give this a pour. Oh, it's lively. And look at that colour. I wasn't necessarily expecting such a bold, um, summery colour coming from it. Um, and it forms a really nice um, head. I do like a cocktail that's got a nice uh, head on it. Um, so it says a slice of lime with this one. So let's just give a little squeeze and a drop to some lime. And let's give this one a try. Oh yeah, it's definitely got that spritz vibe to it. Now, for disclosure, I am not a big fan of overly dry flavours and um, quinine, which is the main ingredient in tonic, can't stand tonics. And this does have a bit of that in there. So it's not necessarily um, one that's great for my palate. Um, and to be honest, that was always a concern of mine when I started this channel to bring you these drinks. But on reflection, I thought, I can still tell you what it tastes like and I can still be honest about it. And if you're the kind of person that loves this kind of flavour, then regardless of how it makes me enjoy it, then it's definitely something that I'd recommend you give a try. It's not overly, overly bitter and overly, overly dry. There is definite bitterness to it and definite dryness to it. But it's also still got quite a um, summery, citrusy, um, sort of, you know, that sort of, taste that gets you just towards the back of the cheeks there and even though it's got um, ingredients in it that I don't necessarily like it's actually quite moorish so I am going back for another sip mm. so that is the Salerno spritz and then on this side we have the um, Havana heat uh, now this one they describe as an oak, spi oak spiced non-alcoholic cocktail Havana Heat is lightly sparkling with a perfect blend of gentle oak um, aromas and spicy Cuban kick and the natural benefits of adaptogens, vitamins and botanicals to help you feel relaxed and sociable. Best served chilled on the rocks with a thin slice of orange peel. Okay, so that's the um, Havana Heat. 
So let's give this one a trial as well. I've had these both chilling in the fridge all day. Okay, so this one's got lots of carbonation, lots of fine, small bubbles. And obviously a very different uh, colour palette to the previous one. Um, and I didn't do orange peel, I did an orange slice. So let's put that in there because that's what they said to do. So let's try the Havana heat. Now that's right up my strata. Now this is one for me. Love this. It is like a slightly, and I mean this in a really positive way, it's slightly medicinal flavour to it. Um, and very herbaceous, uh, lots of root sort of flavour there, but then also married with a more, um, a more common flavour of that sort of um, Cuba Libre, you know, your, 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 your rum and coke and your vodka and coke and your lime. So it's definitely got some familiar flavours in there, which marry really nicely in with all of these new ingredients. I really like this. I could definitely see me um, sipping on several cans of this at a friend's house, in the garden, at a barbecue, uh, at a park and a picnic. Um, and you may have heard me say before, I do love an RTD, which stands for a ready to drink can, where everything is done for you and all you've got to do is open and pour. Uh, I spent years and years in hospitality and I've made many cocktails in my time and I'm so over it now. I'd much rather someone else did all the hard work for me. So this is definitely one I'll be going back to. And what I like is knowing that not only am I having something that tastes really nice, that I really enjoy, that is completely alcohol free but it's also good for me as well so not only is it not bad for me it's also good for me with all the different b vitamins and all the minerals and all the uh, um, botanicals that are in there this is definitely something that you can go back to feeling like you're making the most of your day most of your time and it's not going to impact on your time the next day um, nutritional information per 100 mils um, the, the can only contains 30 kilocalories per 100 mils, so it's 75 kilocalories per can. And for reference, this one is 78 kilocalories kilocalori per can. Um, so again, you can enjoy them for an afternoon, completely guilt-free. So that is the Halo Salerno Spritz and the Halo um, Havana Heat. Highly recommend you give those a try and I'll put some links in the uh, notes down below for you. Um, if you enjoyed this tasting and you want to explore some more low and no alcohol drinks with me then make sure you hit subscribe and hit that notification bell and also don't forget to subscribe to Low No Drinker magazine, the number one UK magazine for the sober curious drinker, bringing you all the news, reviews and interviews from the people, places and brands leading the low and no alcohol revolution. Thanks. Bye.